Welcome back and congratulations, Jan, for an amazing win today. Thank you. I have a lot of questions. Mm -hmm. My very first question is like, after he basically indirectly offered you the draw, mm -hmm. were you ever considering to take it or was it for you from the beginning crystal clear that you will not take it? Well, it was like uh, I was thinking a lot yeah, about this. Well, first of all, I was <coughs> really mad at myself that I played like Rook AC8, not Rook FC8. Uh, so I think Rook AC8 I played quite, you know, quite quickly. But in fact, I think Rook, a Rook FC8 Black is just somewhat better because okay, Queen on D5. I do all the same, but my Rooks are connected when my Bishop is on D8. So it's a huge, huge plus for, for Black. And uh, I think uh, what should be accurate. Uh, but I felt like I didn't feel like r I'm really li like that much better. So here... Uh, I wasn't sure, like, do I start with g5, h5, and then a6? Uh, because, yeah, like, white's queen is a little bit stuck. Uh, yeah, so it took, I don't know, it took plenty of time to, to decide what to do. Yeah, but here, <coughs> actually, I repeat it once. Then, okay, this g5, f5, and g5, in, 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 many, different, uh, in many different ways, it was very tempting. Uh, but I, I couldn't, you know, make up my mind what to do. Uh, and if I should like continue because I was relatively low on time, but good for me that I can, you know, choose a moment. I can always, mm. always, re re uh, I can always repeat. So I think I repeated like I don't know five times. This bishop d8, bishop e7. So it was basically two hours for 30 moves, not for 40. Uh, <laughs> was very smart of me. Uh, yeah, but here, uh, I guess he wanted to f call an arbiter for a fold repetition. So it was like priceless two minutes for me. <laughs> And here I felt like maybe, okay, if he wants to draw that badly, then I, then I should push. Yeah, actually, I wanted to ask you, like, how it feels for you in the moment when your opponent claims a draw, you probably knew that it was not three times repetition. Yeah. And mm -hmm. at your level, I would say it's very unusual that such things would happen. Well, he probably... I mean, I felt like he easily went for this line, which is quite quite murky, I would say. I was a queen on b6. It's, it, it's not looking good. Uh, maybe white is all right, but it's not looking good for sure. And clearly, because of like tournament si tournament situation, I think he was okay for a draw, like more or less to make yes, a draw any time. Because you're one of the uh, most dangerous openers. I also thought like that. Anyway, I'm losing some rating, so not not so much at stake. Uh, and it's one of the very few games left uh, in classical until uh, until the match. And uh, anyway, yeah, the position is very rich and fascinating. Like this g5, f5, f4. Uh, I didn't know like if it's good or not, but it looked like very tempting with a lot of nice tactics. But I mean, I couldn't calculate everything, so I just decided, yeah, just to to, okay, to, to go for it. And uh, here in this moment, when you <laughs> repeated, it was already clear that you would play on the moment you played g5, or you were still no, like he hesitating. Actually, actually, after g5, he uh, he smiled like, I mean, all right, so like you're gonna repeat sooner or later, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, he was expecting, so this was like you know another. Uh, Way to demonstrate another, another, reason, another reason to play on, yeah. Yeah, f5, okay, f4 was surely the move. But after f4, I felt like there is also, okay, knight c5 was the move, yeah, very, very interesting position. So I think knight c5 is quite critical, bishop c5, let's say rook c5. But I think he after f4 takes, takes on bishop h4, bishop is a little bit misplaced. That's what we thought, and maybe I'm and not despite, sure. And despite f3? the two bishops, yeah, okay, f3, but then, okay, bishop returns. I think maybe like queen g7 or something, yeah, like I can also try to play for attack because. It takes ages, like uh, for white to retreat with the, with the queen, and after queen g7, probably I can I can also provoke g3 at some point at some moment. Yeah, so it looked maybe white is okay, but but it looked like okay, black it's is risky, black yes. is playing, yeah, a little at least. And I think maybe he was still hoping that eventually, like after bishop f2, when he still had a chance, that you would repeat. No, 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 <laughs> no. But uh, no, I was also very uh, very angry at myself that here I missed d4. Because d4 was very critical, I think, at this point. B so basically, I'm going for bishop e7 and tra uh, sorry b6 and trap the queen, mm -hmm. and attacking the bishop uh, no, the knight at the same time. And I completely forgot about this move. And only later, okay, I uh, I saw like bishop c4, and this is just very pretty much unclear. I'm not sure if may maybe I'm even winning here, but I'm not sure if everyone is hanging. Yes, sir. Uh, like let's say if knight e7, queen g5, knight g6 looks smart. Uh, and maybe like after queen g4, rook takes c4. I mean, okay, lines are really fun. Uh, but I think the problem was that, uh, hang on, like d4, bishop c4, knight e7, maybe queen d4. Okay, queen d4 here, I, I can at least take on d4. 
I mean, I wasn't sure. Piece. Maybe it takes here, takes here, and queen g5, and then knight d4. Okay, it looked like very insanely promising, and uh, I just, uh, I mean, I just didn't see this move, and uh, I, okay, I was relatively low on time, so I decided like to to go for this, and of course, uh, immediately after I took, I, I noticed that d4. Was an option, yeah. Yeah, and after bishop c4, okay, I'm not sure what's going on, but it surely was like, I mean, okay, I shouldn't like, I shouldn't whine too much. <laughs> Uh, like uh, because uh, the game like ended in a in a good way, but uh, I think yeah, this was like one of the critical moments. I have a question: If he had played not f3 but f4, what was your intention well, in this moment? My intention moment? was to immediately repeat once. Yo, this, <laughs> this, this, this was I, I would this the maneuver <laughs> okay. maneuver I uh, you know yes, I but brilliantly no. <laughs> yeah, probably uh, there is a way to play like bishop d8, queen c5, bishop f6 also. And to uh, allow this the is capture one. on g five. Ah no 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 sorry. At some point maybe maybe here after bishop d eight queen c five maybe here to play g four I'm not sure because essentially enough okay this is not so great yeah for white either so I mean of course what I did uh, is very very like uh, ninety four very here? tough. Well, ninety four maybe I, I can just take on d four with this bishop I think I might be slightly better like even in the end game so okay. no, not necessarily but also like bishop e seven here queen c three bishop f six. So clearly, I'm choosing the moment here, like uh, where I like decide to to make a draw. So, uh, like f3, of course, is more. Uh, I mean, uh, is more interesting because, but well, maybe maybe d4 just wins, yeah. But then if d4 wins, then okay, then shame on me. Uh, but this also looks great, to be honest. Of course, repeats once. Well, I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what was going on. So th this was my intention, like bishop f6, and see what happens. Also, he actually he had like a move uh, here. I thought maybe it, it was worthy to try it, like play this. So let me imagine knight e5, queen c8, bishop b6, and here queen c5. I wasn't sure wh what is this. Uh, so clearly, uh, okay, I'm like we'll have queen for two two pieces. But here I wasn't sure. Like maybe white is in time. Yeah, like to to get a nice positional yeah. co compensation. Yeah, because then he takes on. I mean, that's very, very tricky. So if I play d4, then okay, white is probably lost. But if he plays bishop c3, white can never be worse here. So this was very, very critical. So after bishop e1, okay, probably I'm not forced to play knight e5. That's another story. I can go for the same, like bishop f6. But maybe queen goes to f2, and this is more easy for white to, to play later on. But here probably, yeah. Here I thought like, okay, rook c1, I e. think. I think a careless move. It's I would probably move. play queen b6 anyway. Uh, and try to play knight c5. Yeah, queen b6, probably queen g7. I have to, if I want to play on. Okay, let's say king h1. And this position, well, I, w I wasn't sure. So, yeah, obviously I can get back to my good old bishop d8, bishop e7 uh, strategy. Yeah? Uh, like, kill another couple of moves and take a draw. But maybe it's just playable, yeah, like, as it is. Because, okay, he's still he, his pieces are far. And maybe, like, king h8, rook g8, I, I don't know. Well, uh, would be would be a different story. Yeah, and uh, like it was in the game, I think he just blundered that I have this knight of seven resource. I have a question because yeah. we were wondering very strongly instead of rook e1, yeah. what would you have done after knight c5? Because we were like a little bit puzzled. Yeah, I had no 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 way back. I think like yes, so like let's this. say I take on d5 and play bishop f1. Yeah, and then probably rook the e5. The oh, king sorry, has to sorry, move first. first yeah. Piece, yeah, I thought like rook, rook e5 or something should be. I mean, clearly I'm not forced here, uh, but also rook g8 the idea. I mean. Knight d4, so the position is very rich. In fact, maybe nothing works, but I shouldn't be worse than that. Okay. That, that's for sure. Just to, to us, it looked more natural than this rook e1. Well, he, he blundered, he blundered knight, knight f7. Rook e1 okay. was very smart, intending with uh, playing knight d4 after knight, after knight e5. But uh, yeah, unfortunately, this doesn't work. So actually, I also couldn't guess why rook e1 is bad until I saw the, the, the win, yeah? Because here after knight d4, I thought maybe I should play knight d3, knight e6, and here queen g6. Very tricky, and let's say if he takes on a fate, there rook e1, bishop d4, and d6 is um, queen is lost. But uh, if queen d5, then surprisingly after knight e1, okay, the mate in one is, is serious business here. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, uh, so after he takes, uh, I guess just queen f7 should be nearly winning for me. I think. Okay, maybe not necessarily like rook rook e2, but it should be yeah, like an extra exchange and a nice position. Ma maybe that's still unclear, but it, lo it looks all right. So after knight d3. Uh, yeah, knight e6, queen g6. I thought maybe just rook e2, and here I couldn't see anything. Uh, so maybe bishop e5 was the move uh, which I considered, but I mean, this is a madness, yeah? Like, bishop, queen d5, rook e6. Pr 
probably just I don't know just rook c to d2 maybe attacking the, the knight. So yeah, so this wouldn't work for me. But then okay, I finally saw that okay, this is knight f7, very nice idea, and uh, bishop on f2 is overloaded. Yeah, it can't protect both d4 knight yes. and d1 rook. We actually also missed that move in our analysis. Yeah, we so we after checked knight e5, actually. I think, I think rook c7 was the best chance, however. And here, at some point, I was going to play like bishop f7, but then okay, after bishop e2, I didn't see anything uh, Special, how to yeah. proceed. Okay, I'm clearly I'm better, but I'm not winning, so like knight c4 or something, but I don't know, rook e6, queen d5, I'm in crazy position. But uh, here, at some point, I decided uh, anyway, it's not so much time left to calculate, so let's just push like queen g5 with the same ideas. So bishop h7 check is nothing, yeah? Basically, yeah, bishop is, is under attack there, and then, okay, I come back to attack on f3 and on g2. If I go king h1? Uh, no, then on d3 ah, d3 is, is hanging. still yeah. hanging, okay. So bishop h7 and king h1, maybe that's the, p that's the way, but then, okay, maybe something worse. I, I was hoping that something will work, yeah, <laughs> actually. I wasn't sure, though. Yeah, I mean, uh, this okay, would have of been course, the last Rook C7, moment, uh, yeah. Rook C7 was a very, very serious move. Probably why it like, should be all right, but yeah, but after 94, yeah, it was sort of... But it wasn't uh, it wasn't over for me, actually. Yeah, so here I decided to be very, uh, very cynical and play Bishop C8. We were and very here, surprised by Bishop C3 move, actually. I was close. I actually was close to blundering uh, some brilliance. So Queen F6, I mean, okay, greedy move. Also, I could play Queen E5 any time, of course. But greedy move, and here... Uh, suddenly I noticed that he actually has an idea, so let's say I play some some nonsense move like king g7, uh, queen h5, h6, and here rook c8, and probably I'm lost, yeah? <laughs> and then queen g4 and queen c8, ah, yeah? yeah? So there is some fine geometry. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it took me, it took some time to, yeah, to make myself like playing bishop c3, but actually after bishop c3, uh, I can also use the weakness of his king, yeah? So I think uh, maybe this is a li little bit fancy, but I felt like uh, removing this pair Bishop of bishops is, is a good thing to do. It's yeah. very, very good, yeah. And then after that, uh, everything, I think, mm. went quite flawless well, for you, I could you, take right? on h7, but then king g7 doesn't change much. And here, yeah, finally, I consolidated all my pieces. And okay. Yes, and it was, a piece it is a piece, was yeah. easy. Okay, king, king h3 was fun move in, in the end here, but... So, I mean, like, yeah. when you look back at the tournament, you started with six draws in a row. Did it ever happen to you that you played a super good tournament where you started really with six consecutive draws? I mean, what do you mean, super good? Like, like when you play a super strong tournament, that you would start with six draws, because for us, it's very usual that you like usually like score a lot, but also like not having six draws in a row is something which I think I never have seen with you. <laughs> well, uh, you know, every uh, everything happens, yeah. You know, sooner or later. I think uh, I had like some tournaments, some, some long draw sequences, but um, I mean, I can't recall, so it should be. Should be studied, yeah. <laughs> no, I guess. I'm, no, I'm, I'm not sure. I, I don't want to. No, it's okay. I, I don't want to give a wrong ans answer. Yeah. <laughs> no, we were just curious because we never like uh, yes discussing with Yasa that we we don't remember a tournament where we would start with six draws in a yeah, row. Probably a start way. with six draws. Yeah. It was something unusual for us. Yeah. And <laughs> after the tournament, you have any like plans till the match or something special, or you want mm, to do a lot of back, sports? Get, get back to work. Probably. Get back to work to prepare, do a lot of sports. Like, uh, despite the chess, you do some sports or like some something special exercises to keep in physical shape? No, I'm just trying to survive. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, first this tournament, then okay, then trainings, then, then the match, yeah. But you, you pay attention to sports yeah, well. Yeah, indeed, indeed yes. but it's uh, mm -hmm. like, uh, I'm not going, like, I'm not, I think I'm, I'm not doing as much as, uh, as before uh, Dubai match because, yeah, it probably was uh, a little bit, uh, little bit too much at the time. Uh, I don't know if you want to answer this question or not. How you would evaluate your opponent, like Ding Liren? What kind of player he is for you? Is he someone you have a good he's score one against? Of the, I think we are pretty much pretty much have the even score, and obviously he's one of the strongest players, uh, perhaps ever, uh, and uh, obviously also also right now. So yeah, to have a chance, I should have, I should you know give him give it all. So let's see. All right, then. Thanks a lot for coming here and congratulations again for an amazing win today. And Thank you. I hope to see you one more time at least or maybe two or three more times with a good run yeah. for the I'll remaining try. games. I'll try. Thank you.